Nigel, good morning. Good morning. Let's uh, look ahead to a very exciting playoff semi final first leg against Northampton at the One Call Stadium on Saturday. Following from the drama, the final day on Forest Green, just how excited is the entire club for Saturday evening? Well, I think we're just calming down from Saturday first, <laughs> first and foremost. We haven't got long uh, to prepare uh, the week, but uh, it is exciting, I think, to get there. Uh, we didn't really expect to be there uh, a few months ago, uh, so to manage to be in with a chance at this stage. Uh, I think it's given everybody a, a real lift. Uh, players are excited, uh, and I think uh, most of the supporters are. Yeah, it's quite fitting as well that it's against Northampton aside. After you played them yeah. at uh, at Sixfields uh, back in back in October, you said it was rock bottom for the club, second from bottom. Looking how far the club has come since then, it's a remarkable achievement, isn't it? It is, yeah, because because of where we come from. I mean, 18 months ago we were down there, and then again just a, a short time ago, six months ago we were down there. Uh, so then to rise as we have done, uh, it's been a remarkable run really and uh, we, we go into the playoffs in good heart uh, but also we're playing a team that really should have had automatic promotion on Saturday. Yeah, I mean how, how much will that affect them do you think on the, uh, on the day knowing that even though they did the job against Barrow ultimately it wasn't enough, do you think they'll come out with a bit of a, bit of a vengeance on that? I think so and a sort of renewed determination uh, to not let that sort of freakish final day uh, ruin the season. Uh, I think it is very difficult to deal with for over an hour of the game. You must have thought they were up. You know, when you go three 0 up and you know there's got to be a seven eight goal swing or something like that, then uh, they must they, they must have thought uh, for long periods they were up. But uh, you've got to get your head around it. And I think John John Brady said straight away after the game, we have to deal with it and then move on and. and and have a chance on Saturday, and I think they'll be ready for it. Yeah, first uh, first match or first leg rather is going to be at home at the at the One Course yep. Stadium. Does that pose any advantages for yourself and the players? I'm not sure about the home and away. Uh, you know, where the, the the team higher plays gets the you know the second leg at home. I can see the thinking behind it, but I think over the two legs, uh, it can work either way. Uh, so we've got to try and get ourselves uh, certainly not not go into the second leg behind. That's the, that's the priority. One factor for us is going to be the fans again. The away leg sold out yesterday. Four hour queues for people to get tickets uh, yesterday. It's great to see people to, to come out, isn't it, and you know, back the club and, and hope for success at the end of it. They have done all season, so, uh, and the, the numbers that we've taken on the road uh, have been remarkable. And uh, to have a full house at, at home on Saturday night and then a full away end on Wednesday night uh, is, is brilliant, but it's, it's what we've been uh, used to and a little bit spoiled by. How key is that experience that you've got within your squad, those players that have been through these scenarios before to lift those younger players? Just I think the experience around training this week is going to be vital that they just keep everybody calm and feet on the ground and uh, and also they will also know that yes we've achieved something by getting in the top seven but really it hasn't achieved anything in terms of we want to try and get promoted. Uh, so the next three games, if it is three, will uh, determine that. What's the squad situation looking like? Ollie Clark's been back on the bench for the last couple of games, it's just yeah. Cal Gordon that's, that's missing? Yes, yeah, uh, everybody else uh, should be okay. Uh, no new uh, injuries from Saturday, so yeah, they're all in uh, all in with a chance. And it's good when you look round and you look at the, the strength of the, the subs bench at the moment, it's, uh, it's quite reassuring. Any one of them in the squad of 18 will start, never mind bring on. Uh, and it does give us some selection, selection problems. And uh, of course, Stags have been watching, listening to this with uh, with eager anticipation. I'm sure they won't be able to sit still this week. How will you calm your nerves and get the players focused ahead of a big game Saturday night? We'll just have the, exactly the same preparation as we have done all season. No need to change anything. Uh, and training will be the same. Uh, the sort of days that they're in and when we train and everything will be the same. Uh, and then they have to deal with it away from, uh, get away with the families, you know, and have a little bit of time and. I think that's the most important thing. You, you can't spend your, the next four or five days just thinking about nothing else. It'll drive you mad. So uh, they need to get away and find something else to do. Uh, we've got a lot of experienced players with children, so young children. So it's ideal for them to get out for the day if the weather's nice and uh, and think about just something else. Last uh, one. For, last one from me. Uh, Mike Whitlow retired uh, this week. Yep. We've worked uh, quite closely with him. Just a final message on on his influence in the club. Yeah. Very sad to lose him, but understand, you know, he's uh, he's retired, and I think he's been uh, played a major role in the development and improvement in the academy, and especially since we moved here to the RH. Uh, so he'll be he'll be sorely missed, and I think Mike's best described as a proper football man. Uh, you know, he's been there, seen it, done it, played, coached, and everything. Uh, so we'll be sad to see him go. Thanks, Nigel. All the best for Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. Uh, Alex, I'll record a bit to you. Yeah, great. Uh,
Yeah, when you're ready. Okay, Lovely. thank you. Uh, just a couple of questions from yep. me. You see the images of, of fans queuing uh, on a Monday morning to get tickets, uh, you know, sold out home and, uh, and away. It's going to be some, some atmosphere. How much, you know, inspiration can that give to the squad, seeing the support that's behind the club? I think we've been inspired by it all season. Uh, we, we keep referring back to this poor run we had, and it was really during that time uh, that we felt it the most, where the supporters didn't turn on us, uh, they stuck with us. I think they understood, I hope they understood what was happening, uh, the injuries we had, the suspensions we had and every single thing going against us. Uh, I think they saw sort of past the results uh, and also because we've had a good sort of four or five games at the start of the season where we've won a few and we've played really well uh, and I think they thought, yeah, you know what, we can get back to that. Uh, so we've been, we've been inspired by them. At, all season, they've travelled in great numbers away from home. The atmosphere at the one call has been electric at times. Uh, I hope we've sort of tried to entertain them. Scored, a, I think, we've scored quite a few goals at home, and we've had some brilliant, brilliant games. Can you enjoy the prospect of the playoffs? Can you enjoy those kind of games? Because I've been watching the League One playoffs yeah. and not involved with any of those clubs, and they make me feel stress stressed enough. Can you enjoy that experience? No, <laughs> the, play the, the playoffs have that effect, I think, because for all you, you all your hard work over forty six games, it comes down to two now, or, or you know maybe three. Uh, so everything, you know, Sheffield Wednesday have been one of the best sides in, in League One. Some of the stuff they've played, uh, you know, and they're out. Uh, MK Don's the same. I'd say they've been two of the best teams in League One in terms of football and everything, and they're out. So everything goes out the window now, uh, but it's certainly not a time. I don't think you can say you're going to enjoy it. It's all from me. Thanks. Good luck, Nigel. Thank you. James from ITV. I'm okay. Are you okay today, John? Yeah, just a couple uh, from me. Obviously, Northampton have a certain style of play. Would you rather yeah. be playing a side that play a bit more football? No, I think it swings in roundabouts. I think no. Uh, I think we, we played really well at home against Northampton a few weeks back um, and it was only the goalkeeper I think that kept them in it that day with two or three magnificent saves. He's, I think, suspended for the, the game, which won't do any harm. Um, so I, I think one thing, I think Northampton are the, the, the big and the strong and the solid, but I think one concern is they've gone to Orient a couple of weeks ago, scored four goals in the first half. Uh, and then they went to Barry on Saturday and scored three in the first 25 minutes, half an hour there. So they're more than capable. They'll have the sort of a reputation of being solid and difficult breakdown, but they're more than capable of turning that around and scoring goals away from home.